Of course, want to start with the news that everybody's talking about already in the chat. Uh, moments ago, Cubs Hall of Famer Ryan Sandberg announcing that he is undergoing cancer treatment uh, for prostate cancer right now. Uh, so obviously, it's a it's a dangerous thing. It's a scary thing. Rhino with a picture of himself. He's already started his treatment. Um, we obviously wish him well, and we hope it all goes well, and we hope they caught it early. And I see a lot of people in there saying prayers, thoughts and prayers, uh, prayers for his family. I will say for me personally, like one of the, you know, I've had the fortunate, I've been very fortunate to meet a lot of people like over my career. Ryan Sandberg's probably the top of the list. Like if meeting Michael Jordan is one thing, but meeting someone and having conversations and getting to know them. Rhino was about as big a star in my life growing up as a sports fan as I can think of, he was he was the number one baseball player, um, and he couldn't be a nicer guy, and he couldn't be uh, more friendly or more open. Um, and you know, as a player, he's very quiet. You just didn't hear much from Ryan Sandberg. Um, so it's it's one of the things I've enjoyed most about my career is just getting to know him a little bit, um, hanging out a few times, and he is a genuine good guy who happens to be a Hall of Fame baseball player. So, well wishes for Rhino. Yeah, it's, uh, that I mean, that news kind of came out a few minutes before we were ready to start. Um, That's brutal. It, it, it sucks, and, you know, again, yeah, hopefully, you know, he caught it early, um, able to get the treatment needed, and, and, you know, can come out of this on the other side and, and be healthy. Um, it's a scary thing. It's a tough thing, tough news, and especially for, obviously, we could see it just in our chat, Cubs fans, um, you know, a, a larger than life person in the Cubs world. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, my dad growing up, his favorite player, Ryan Sandberg, still, still Ryan Sandberg is his favorite Cubs player of all time. Right. So, um, I know how much he means to people of many different generations, you know, seeing him around the ballpark, seeing him in spring training. Um, you know, he's always around the team. Um, you know, he's getting his statue unveiled this summer. Right. Um, so yeah, just a, a big part of, the Cubs organization, a big part of the Cubs world, a big part of Cubs history. And yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's tough news, but obviously, like you said, you know, Ryan Sandberg pretty well, definitely better than either of us too. And, but um, you know, he's going to, again, hopefully they've been able to catch it early. I can get the treatment and um, you know, he can come out, you know, he's a fighter. He's going to yeah. go, go through it. Well, he's and, a competitor and, for yeah, sure. You know, sure. but this is, this is the biggest game he's in now, yeah. right? Somebody so. in the chat said it's, it's beatable, very beatable. It is. It's very beatable. It's very treatable, but it's not always beatable. Yeah. Right. Like it's, if it, it's like somebody saying, Oh, he's somebody's having minor surgery until you're the person having minor surgery. And then it's not minor anymore. Yeah. yeah so and I know people that have, you know, passed away from prostate cancer so it's not always beatable yeah. so so yeah so thoughts and prayers from from our end for ryan sandberg and um you know wishing him well and on this yeah this battle that he's going to be going through it's 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 a tough thing but um you know hopefully we we get good news in the near future yeah knowing my mom and how she uses the internet she probably hasn't learned this news yet so i'm gonna have to text her after yeah. the show but ryan sandberg is my mom's favorite player and uh yeah i mean I've had the pleasure of meeting him too. Um, not like the way Luke has in terms of through media, but just at Cubs convention and, mm -hmm. you know, he'd stand there and sign all these things. And it's like, um, and I'm not saying this as part of the bit, but it's big of him to, to do a lot of that stuff. Um, considering he is a baseball hall of famer and, and all these things. But, um, I think one of the things that I've always appreciated about him is that even though he's, retired been retired for multiple decades and everything he's remained in the chicago area like he i think he yeah. lives in like lake lake bluff lake bluff yeah. yeah so um you know he's a chicago guy uh he's one of he's one of us one of uh, one of all of us and in, in, in a way more so than just the fact that he's a hall of fame player for the cubs and so yeah i'm wishing him wishing him well because uh cancer sucks man when he was the manager um uh, in peoria Oh yeah, for uh, traveled yeah. around, traveled around I with went him for to a one week, of those right? Games. Like when yeah. he was some of these minor league, minor league manager, and uh, this is just just describes him as a person. He didn't have to do this, but he was the biggest star, obviously in Peoria. It wasn't the players coming up, it and he he wanted that attention, 
to be on the players. He wanted them to receive that. But at the same time, he stood there and signed autographs for anybody that was willing to make that drive to Peoria or wherever. It was, um, they played the Whitecaps. I don't remember what town in Michigan that is, Kalamazoo or something like that. But um, he just stood there by the third baseline and he signed autograph after autograph after autograph. And he had a job to do. So, um, yeah, wish, yeah, wishing the best for one of my One of my favorite stories, my dad's going to hate me for talking about this. My parents went down to spring training one time. I don't know how long ago it was, um, but that, you know, the kids line up by the third baseline and, like, get autographs and players yeah. come, but, like, Rhino did. And I think my dad had his Ryan Sandberg jersey on, and he took it off, and he was, like, kind of lined up with all the people wait, waiting, and that, and Ryan Sandberg, from what my mom told me, Ryan Sandberg, like, was going down the line, going down the line, got to my dad, and my dad just froze. They didn't, like, stick the jersey <laughs> out to get inside, didn't say anything, so Sandberg just went right past him and kept signing autographs for everyone else. And, like, we – we still give my dad crap for that yeah. because it's like this is his favorite player of all time. Like the one chance he's going to have, unless he goes to Cubs convention or something, the right. one chance he's going to have to get Ryan Sandberg's autograph and he just freezes. So I think that's, I don't know, I guess that's what, in a personal way, that's what he does mm-hmm. to people is he, he, yeah. make, he makes yeah. them freeze. He's, he's a huge name, pe- name that, gener- again, like I said, generations of Cubs fans know. Like whether you're older generation, newer generation. And the younger generations appreciate him, obviously. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, even if you didn't yeah. see him play, you appreciate that he's around the ballpark. He's around spring training. He's, around, you know, he's he's pretty, uh, pretty visible as a supporter of Chicago Cubs baseball long after his playing days. So, wishing well to Rhino. Y'all silly like the mayor. 